Hey guys, Mr. Kim. Before I bring you this review, I'm just going to do a few shout outs to some people that have gifted me in the last couple of days. Um, yes, I'm aware there's black bars on the side of the screen. For some reason, when I'm in the menu of Combat Arms, I can't get it to go full screen on my laptop or my desktop. Fuck you, next time. Um, thank you to Gift Metal CA1, it used to be known as Eminem, for the uh, SG550. I'll review that at some point. Uh, Great Heisey Key from TNT, which I'll activate now. Um, DSR1 from Turtle, which is spelled with a Y, not a U. Um, I've never actually used the DSR1. I can't wait to actually use it. Oh, it's for a week, too. Um, congrats on Lovely says. Yes, I just ranked up to uh, Captain 4. Um, Aviator Glasses from Turtle. Oh, yeah, insane troll. Um, shit from Nexon that I don't need. Hate that crap. Uh, Double Barrel Shotgun from Pink Floyd, hyphen underscore uh, that he wants me to review. Uh, Mr. Mike stuff. Da -da -da -da. No, don't go down that far. Vortex you notice sent me a VSS possible review, unless you've done it. Uh, no, I haven't, and I will do it. Um, an ACOG tier 1 scope from Morphine and an M92FS SC. I've never used that pistol, but I'll um, give it a while. Aviator glasses from Cheese357. I think I've already reviewed these. Serial Core from Landmines. Uh, so I've not reviewed them. Um, Supply crepe mysteries from underscore 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 cheese underscore underscore underscore. Uh, thank you very much. I will open. Uh, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. I'll open one of them. Ah, I open them. I get something good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, what's this one? I have five. Uh, never got that one. But the AK-103. That's cool. Um, sickle from TNT. ABA glasses from cheese again. Comcat from Avery. I think I've done all the rest of these. I don't know if I've actually posted the video yet. Um, and Radical is not on that. So thank you so much, guys, for the gifts. And I hope you guys enjoy this review. Mr. Kia bringing you a review on the G18 Cobra, which is the very first fully automatic pistol in combat arms. Um, during this game, I actually lagged quite a lot because I was filming this on um, HD quality. I've just got my uh, high quality graphics card working in my laptop, but it's still a little bit shaky as you can see there about um, filming on HD at the moment. I was just testing it, but it was an alright game I guess so I figured to use it. Uh, I got a bit sick of using this pistol as a primary weapon so which this pistol can actually be used as a primary weapon it has two firing modes it's got um, uh, just a single shot fire like a standard pistol and also is fully automatic so you just hit the F button or whatever button you have your combat arm set to to change the firing mode between automatic and uh, single fire. Now I will at some point in this review use this weapon on single fire and it's like I hate it. I can only get like a few hits off it. I don't think I'm even got any kills with it. I've never been a big fan of using single fire weapons apart from sniper rifles so I kind of favoured the um, automatic in this and the automatic you can use this as a primary weapon with the automatic. It's um it's just amazing for headshots by the way as you'll probably see quite a lot of um, the headshots are phenomenal. It's, it's got an upward recoil, so all your bullets are pretty much going upwards, kind of zigzagging a bit, and you just get headshot after headshot. Uh, I'm not sure where in this review, and I'm flicking between reading the stats on combat arms and the video on my screen, so I don't want to miss it, but at some point I actually stop and I shoot the barrel over the other side of the map. And I was doing that just to see exactly how far the bullets will travel, and they'll actually travel that far. You can use this and pretty much go a good three quarters if not the entire way across the map in junk fleet it's it's really good for um, um, close and medium range but it's also effective at long range in saying that the accuracy does go down so the actual stats of the gun is 35 for damage which comparing it to all the other pistols in the game is fairly low um, it's at the lower than the scale for damage but the fully automatic uh, rate of fire Definitely makes up for it. It's got um, 58 accuracy, so it's also pretty low on the accuracy scale. 
Uh, 43 portability, so... Oh, sorry, 40, 43 rate of fire. So, it is fully automatic. It's kind of average for... Oh, it's high for rate of fire, but it's not the highest. The highest is the K5 SD series. Um, and the M92 FS and all of its family is only one point lower. It's at 42. So, rate of fire is pretty... It's it's high up there compared to a lot of the um the single fire ones, but it's still that there were ones that beat it. Ah, uh, the G twenty three carbon black beats it. The G twenty three beats it, but again, those are all you got to tap fire it. Uh, it has ninety portability, which is pretty average for a pistol. Um, it's the average portability. Most pistols have ninety as their portability, and it has fifty six for recoil, which is actually I think the second lowest. Um, the lowest is the M92 FS Gold. So, in saying that, it's it's pretty average in a way, apart from the um, uh, the recoil. But the fully automatic um, option for this pistol just makes it well one of the most deadly pistols. Um, if you're doing pistols only and you like to run in with more than one gun, if you have this, maybe a G23 and a USB Tactical SE, you're going to be completely lethal. Um, you can add attachments to this. You can add a scope and a suppressor. However, you cannot add an extended magazine, which is one of the major drawbacks. With its excessive rate of fire, like the mag pull, you run through your ammo really quick. But to counter that, they do have a really fast reload. It is a pistol, after all. You want to be able to to reload that a lot faster than an assault rifle, otherwise, you know, what's the point in using a pistol? Um, it's got a very fast draw speed, very fast draw speed. Um, You've noticed too, I've kind of stopped using it, I got a bit bored of playing around with it. Um, yeah, this pistol is amazing. You can pick up uh, double kills extremely easy using one clip, and you can just spray this gun and you most likely hit your opponent if they're close to medium range. Somewhere in that gap between being exactly medium range and close, as long as you spray, you'll pretty much hit them every time. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal to use. I love this pistol. In fact, I wish I was playing when they had it released for permanent. Um, I highly, highly recommend this pistol. Like, you can't... When I did my mag pool review, I pointed out that it's great for um, people who snipe. And you can just whip it out and take out your opponent. If you're only using snipers and in a normal all weapons game, and you don't want to have to go out and buy a magpul, you've got one of these. These are it's just as good as using the magpul. It's great for that backup weapon, and it can be used as a primary. Um, in fact, I would choose this pistol over an M16A3, uh, without a doubt. It's really good. Again, another headshot. Um, I think Chris. Oh no. Chris didn't kill me there. He was me at some point, and I've actually nearly run out of video time. I have more that I want to talk about in this, so in a nutshell, it might be a bit longer. Um, this is an amazing pistol. Definitely, definitely, definitely get it, guys. It is a great, great pistol. Um, it may only have a 2020 ammo capacity, but it's amazing. Um, there's nothing else like this in combat arms, so. If you pull this on the opponent, the pistols only, you're going to have the upper hand. Pretty much guarantee it. Oh, what a way to end. A nut shot on uh, Batsalamoto something or other. <laughs> in a nutshell, guys, this is going to go a bit longer because there wasn't enough time in the review to get out all the information I wanted to put out there. Um... This gun is phenomenal. It's got 35 damage, which is pretty low on the damage scale, but it's got 90 portability, which is also average. It has a rate of fire of 43, which is... Uh, it's high up there, but it's not the highest. Um, it's only like one higher than the M92 FS. Uh, it has 58 accuracy, which is pretty... You know, it's... Again, 58 for um, accuracy is pretty low on the scale. And it has the second highest, uh, second lowest recoil, sorry. Second lowest recoil out of all the pistols. Uh, the only thing that beats it is the something rather M92 FS Gold, that was it. Um, 
You can use this as a primary weapon. It has two fire modes, single and automatic. The automatic fire mode is like spray and pray pretty much. You can pull this out in any type of game and pick up a double kill easily. You can pick up multis and ultras. It has two customizations, sights and a suppressor. And it's available for 1,900 NX for 30 days, 3,900 for 90 days. Cannot get it permanent, but this gun is phenomenal. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly, highly recommend this gun, guys. Uh, the G18 in a nutshell, putting it bluntly, is probably one of the best pistols in combat arms, if not the best. The only thing that would give this a run for its money would be the USB Tactical SE, and that's an NX Rare, and it's not even available at the moment. So by all means, guys, go out, get some NX, get the G18 Cobra. It is phenomenal.